In 1908, the Draper family came to Des Moines and opened a small orphanage at this very site. The Drapers also bought some of the surrounding land near the Des Moines Creek to use as a playground and camp area for the children. The area was called Draper Park. You can see that the old picnic shelter still stands today, although it has gone through some renovations throughout the years. In 1916, a sawmill was built near the mouth of the Des Moines Creek, and just two years later, the mill was converted into a popular dance hall overlooking the water on beautiful Puget Sound. By the early 1930s, both the dance hall and Draper Park were purchased by the Swedish Covenant Church, who used the property for a worship space and Bible camp. In order to expand the Bible camp, the Swedish Covenant Church built several other buildings and cabins, each evoking strong Swedish designs. In 1933, 20-year-old Marvel Johnson designed the dining hall. She was one of the earliest female graduates from the University of Washington School of Architecture. In 1954, the auditorium, the old dance hall, burned down, but it was rebuilt by the church just a few years later in a new location further back from the shore. It is now used as an event space and wedding venue. The Swedish Covenant Church maintained the area as a Bible camp until 1986, when the entire camp was sold to the city of Des Moines and became the Des Moines Beach Park. Just a couple years later, thanks to the hard work by some Des Moines citizens, the old church camp buildings secured a spot on the National Register of Historic Places. Many of the buildings have since been renovated and are used as event spaces. So the next time you visit the Des Moines Beach Park, look up, marvel at the beauty and history that make this park special.